Hi gorgeous girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Flora, but before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I am doing a Mr. Beast challenge where I put 10 people in a paddock and the last person to leave wins Star Rider. And if you do like that and it does sound interesting to you, head over to my Instagram, underscore SSO Flora, and you can find more information there. Now, let's get on with the video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about one of the most underrated horses in SSO. And this was a horse that came out and was popular for a bit, but then kind of ghosted and no one's ever seen them since and no one ever really rides them. So I've got three of my own and this is the Marwari horse. And I've got three of them here being very cooperative and I've got Lost Comet, my black one there, Coffee Bean and ginger snap and let me just quickly talk to you about the marwari horse and then i'm going to actually tell you 10 facts so grab some food grab a snack maybe hop online do some training this is going to be more of like an informational you know a little chat here and you're going to learn a lot about this horse so let's get started the marwari horse has a very interesting past a history of Marwari horse includes military service and is descended from pure breeds that give the breed their looks, grace, and fearlessness in battle. The Eastern Indian ponies were believed to have been mixed with the Arabian horse to create an intelligent, resourceful horse with an incredible work ethic. This was the horse that Indian soldiers were proud to go to battle with, knowing that they would not need to flinch from their duties. There are many things to learn about the Marwari, but these are going to be the 10 most amazing facts about the Marwari horse. The Marwari horse has inwardly turned ear tips. He reminds you of a large cat the way his ears turn inward. His head is often depicted in horse art because of the unique and graceful shape of his ears. In fact, some artists don't even realize they are using the shape of the Marwari horse specifically. The horse is often confused from the Arabian horse, from which he is descended from. The Marwari was known as a war horse. His loyalty and fearlessness were world-renowned. Being smaller than his European counterparts, he could easily maneuver when he was used as a cavalry horse in battle. Sadly, it was this association with being a cavalry horse in the history of Marwari horse that it nearly cost them their existence. When cavalry horses were no longer needed, due to technology in the 1930s, these horses nearly became extinct. They are a gated horse, meaning that they are born with a particular gait, called Rival. This is a very fast lateral gait that moves in a four beat pattern. It is a very smooth gait for the rider, making them very comfortable to ride, more comfortable than a normal trot. In the desert, they can cover long distances in a short time thanks to this particular gait. This makes them a chosen horse by many in India to this day. Being gated simply means that one or more hooves are always on the ground. This keeps the horse more stable and provides a smoother ride. The exportation of a Marwari horse is heavily regulated and often not allowable. These horses are coveted by Indians and after the fear of their extinction, horse enthusiasts now highly prize their breeding stock and work diligently to keep the Marwari bloodlines as pure as they can possibly be. Getting a Marwari horse is no easy feat if you live outside of India. The Marwari is technically considered to be a pony, averaging 14 hands high. There is still some flexibility in their height due to percentage, but the average is typically around 14 hands and this makes them small enough to be considered a pony rather than a horse. There is a legend surrounding the first Marwari horses. It is said that a ship was wrecked off the Indian coast and that seven original Arabian horses bred with the Marwari ponies to create the Marwari horses that we have today. This is the legend. Whether it is true or whether it is not is another matter. There was a rumor that since has been disproven that Guinness Khan rode a Marwari horse in battle. 
Guinness died in 1226, and the Marwari hasn't been an established breed as of yet, so this is disproven. But you'll still occasionally hear someone trying to pass the story off as the truth. The color of the Marwari used to be exclusively black. Today, the Marwari can be found in virtually any color and are used for show horses, dressage horses, and trail riding horses. They are no longer needed for war efforts. You may find the Marwari in black, gray, brown, chestnut bay, and pinto. You also may find a rare white Marwari. If they are found, they will be used only for ceremonial purposes. It was during the first British Raj period in Indus history when the Marwari nearly became extinct. In fact, at that time, the horse was openly made fun of for its ears that took an inward turn. Thankfully, in 1995, the breed began making a comeback and is once again in favor in India. The breed seems poised to remain steadily on the uprise. The breed was saved by the British. It was a British lover of horses who founded the Marwari horse group called Marwari Bloodlines. This woman, Francesca Kelly, is responsible for keeping this rare and gorgeous breed of horses from the abyss of extinction where no one would have been able to see their extreme beauty up close. They would be fixtures of history books and photo albums instead of the amazing and unique horses they are today. The Marwari is elegant, loyal, friendly, and easy to ride because of its unique gait. They are truly considered a national treasure of India now, despite their rocky past. If you are ever lucky enough to see a Marwari in person, you better take a lot of photographs. Due to their restrictions placed on them, they are rarely, if ever, exported from India for any reason. Your best opportunity to see the Marwari horse is to travel to India and actually see them in their element. Horse shows, dressage competitions, and regular ridings are all the things that they are once again popular for. This horse has found its way back into the hearts of India and the people who have come to treasure them as a gift to be prized. There are other Indian breeds of horses, some with the similarity to the Marwari, but none that is exactly the same. If you guys enjoyed this video on the Marwari horses, let me know and I will continue the series and keep doing the most underrated horses on Star Stable and telling you a bunch of stuff that you probably didn't know. I can also do another series where I go over the most popular breeds on Star Stable and also do some information on that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, go down and subscribe and become a part of the floral family. XOXO, Stable Girl.